Sean Diddy Combs is facing some serious allegations in civil lawsuits and the threat of arrest as part of a federal investigation into human trafficking. That's hanging over his head, too. There apparently have been rumors about Combs and his lifestyle for decades. So why haven't people come forward before now? So, Diddy's really getting himself into some deep water with this latest lawsuit. It's turning into a major headache, and there's new crazy stuff coming out every single day. Now, another dude named Lil Rodney's jumped into the ring, claiming he's a victim too. And get this, it involves 50 Cent's ex. Talk about drama heating up. Word on the street is, 50's gearing up for a serious chat with Diddy, cause he's worried about his former flame. This scoop is hot, so let's dive in without wasting any more time. It all started with a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs by a male music producer, claiming some serious stuff. And now to the latest on the sex trafficking investigation that led to raids on the homes of Sean Combs here in Los Angeles and in Florida. He has not been arrested or charged, though he is named in multiple assault and trafficking lawsuits. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay joins us here live with more. Sophie. Giovanna, in a 79-page lawsuit filed by a music producer who claims to have worked with and lived with Sean Combs for a period of time, alleges there were underage girls, hidden cameras, and sexual harassment at his home, all of which Combs denies. Now, it's shining a spotlight on more allegations against the troubled music mogul, including his connection to another rapper's ex-girlfriend. According to docs Fox News got their hands on, this dude Lil Rod, who worked on Diddy's recent album, is alleging that Diddy boasted about financially supporting multiple women, including 50's ex, Daphne Joy. Now here's where it gets wild. Diddy's following Joy on Instagram, and there've been pics of them hanging out in Miami Beach last year. But Joy's clapping back hard, saying these allegations are straight up lies. 50 Cent's ex Daphne Joy is facing accusations of being Sean Diddy Combs' alleged sex worker in a new lawsuit. Daphne was named in Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Little Rod's $30 million case against his former employer, Diddy. Page Six got a hold of court documents claiming the OnlyFans model was a sex worker involved in the rapper's alleged sex trafficking ring. Speaking of Joy, she and 50 Cent were together back in 2011 and even had a kid together in 2012. But things went south real quick when 50 got into some legal trouble involving Joy. Long story short, he ended up pleading not guilty and got hit with probation, community service, and fines. Lil Rod updated his lawsuit just recently, dropping even more bombshells. And this all came right after Diddy settled another lawsuit with his ex, Cassie, who accused him of some serious stuff. Diddy's lawyer's calling it all fiction, but it seems like trouble just keeps following him around. And 50 Cent? Well, he's not holding back either. He took to Instagram, throwing some serious shade at Diddy over these allegations. You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. Looks like this drama's turning into one crazy movie, and Lil Rod's not pulling any punches. He's slapping Diddy with a massive $30 million lawsuit, claiming Diddy's been pulling some shady moves, messing with escorts, and even shortchanging him for his work on the album. Diddy's world seems like a wild ride of money, power, and sketchy deals. And he just can't seem to catch a break from all these legal storms. Well, hey, cause I run shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. You feel me? I run shit. Good yeah, you do. Yeah. Little Rod ain't worth giving this kingdom to if we don't <laughs> control his publishing. I can solve his efforts with three other human beings. He's eating at our table, and I like his backstory, but you need to have other people. We, it's hard to work with him unless we have his part. He's a piece of shit human, <laughs> but we do not need his talent unless we can work with him. Lil Rod obviously means business with this lawsuit. It's a hefty 70 pages packed with some wild claims. He's saying Combs was putting pressure on him to accept a messed up dynamic in their relationship, which apparently is all too common in the music biz. Represented by attorney Tyrone Blackburn, Jones is dropping a bombshell about a RICO enterprise that allegedly turned a blind eye to Combs' actions. And get this, it involves heavy hitters in the music world, including big shots like Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange and former M-Town CEO Ethiopia Hop Mariam. Even Diddy's own son, Justin, is named as a defendant in this crazy lawsuit. The drama in the industry just keeps ramping up. Moving on to the latest in the criminal investigation of Sean P. Diddy Combs. Misa Hilton, the mother of Combs' son, Justin Combs, is speaking out after federal agents raided the home of the music mogul March 25th. On Tuesday, 
Hilton shared an edited video on Instagram of home surveillance footage of law enforcement entering the LA property, fanning out across the home with guns drawn, searching for evidence. During the time Jones was working with Combs on the Love album, things apparently got pretty wild. While he got to rub shoulders with some of Diddy's famous pals, not all the encounters were pleasant. He's claiming he had a run-in with Cuba Gooding Jr., who's faced misconduct accusations before. Now, another person has been accused of sexual assault and harassment, and that is Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, cool. Little Rod has now accused him of sexually harassing and assaulting him. And according to, um, you know, representatives from for Diddy, he did not immediately respond for a, re a request for comment, but he says that Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling his legs, his upper inner thighs, near his groin, the small of his back, near his buttocks, and his shoulders. He said he was extremely uncomfortable, leaned away from him, rejected his advances, and he did not stop until, according to Little Rod, he forcibly pushed him away. And he says this did happen on a yacht. Ugh. That was rented by Diddy back in January of 2023. Lil Rod says the Oscar winner got handsy, touching and groping him. When asked about these serious allegations, Combs' attorney didn't hold back, calling Lil Rod a liar just out for a big payday with his $30 million lawsuit. Justin Combs wasn't holding back either. A spokesperson straight up denied all the accusations, calling them lies and desperate attempts for a payday. And this new accusation adds to the pile of lawsuits already on Combs' plate, including one from his ex, Cassandra Ventura, filed late last year. The one with Ventura apparently got sorted out quick with a hefty sum changing hands, but all this legal drama doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of beating and sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend and singer Cassie. She filed a lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal court. These bombshells came amid Cassie's lawsuit filed back in 2023, alleging that Diddy orchestrated some freaky events, causing substantial damages to the hotel. The legal document claims Cassie was tasked with arranging venues and hiring men for these gatherings, often using websites and escort services. Allegedly, Diddy insisted on these encounters weekly, referring to them as our thing and stressing the need for secrecy. Cassie's laying it all out, saying these alleged freaky gatherings were happening in hotel suites all over the place, from the Trump International Hotel in Columbus Circle to the London Hotel in LA and even various intercontinental hotels across the country. According to her, Diddy's assistants were supposedly in on it too, providing stuff like baby oil and lubricant to set the mood. She's claiming Diddy always made sure there was plenty of ecstasy on hand for her and the others involved, which apparently let her disassociate during these messed up encounters. Afterward, it was standard procedure to hook up IV fluids to recover from all the stuff they were pushing on her. Cassie's saying Diddy would get her to pour oil all over herself before directing her and the others what to do. Allegedly, he'd be filming the whole thing on his gadgets, treating it like some personal art project even adjusting the lighting for the perfect shot. In a recent interview, Gene Deal spilled the beans, saying Diddy's got a thing for black dudes. Cassie claims Diddy pressured her into scouting the internet for guys specifically well endowed for their intimate encounters. These details paint a pretty dark picture of the music mogul, showing a side of him that's all about secrecy and hidden desires. Bruh, I can say this, and I'm gonna leave it at that when I say it, and this is not something that, you know, really interests me and might interest the viewers and everything like that, you know, but they live this weird rock and roll lifestyle where they touchy Philly with each other. And all I could say in situations like that is that if two men lay down how many fruity men get up? So, Gene started digging deeper into this whole mess, suggesting maybe Cassie wasn't the only one getting involved in these shady activities. The big question hanging in the air, was Diddy, this guy with loads of influence and power, also partaking in these encounters with male escorts? And get this, they were all wearing masquerade masks during these escapades, adding an extra layer of mystery. According to Gene, those masks were his way of staying incognito, so nobody could point fingers at him or cause a scene, letting him enjoy the acts without any interruptions. 
Things took a murky turn as allegations of censorship and selective editing of the lawsuit's details before its public release came up. Gene hinted that there's a whole other side to this story, leaving fans guessing about the undisclosed parts of the scandal. Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have sex with her? It's something fishy about that, bro. They even delved into industry secrets, talking about rumors that had been swirling for ages. Reports of Diddy allegedly trying to rope in other celebs like Chris Brown and the members of B5 for similar activities painted a grim picture of a music industry full of hidden vices. The lawsuit reveals a disturbing pattern of violence and messed up stuff that went on until the relationship ended in 2018. But a spokesperson for Combs, known by a bunch of different names like Puff Daddy, P Diddy, and Diddy, came out swinging, calling these allegations offensive and outrageous. They said all this drama only popped up after Cassie supposedly went after a $30 million payout from Diddy. Cassie's legal team told the New York Times she was offered a huge sum to keep quiet and not file this lawsuit an offer she apparently turned down. But in a recent court filing, Diddy's denying any involvement or knowledge of misconduct, including anything related to the plaintiff. His response, backed by a hefty 11-page document from his lawyer, Sean Holly, argues that the lawsuit tramples on Diddy's constitutional rights and should be tossed out. But Jane Doe's lawyer, Douglas Wigdor, wasn't backing down from the fight. Now here's the weird part that's got everyone scratching their heads. Right after Cassie settled her lawsuit, suddenly 50's ex-girlfriend's name gets thrown into the mix. It's definitely adding fuel to the fire. Plus, 50 and Daphne share a kid, so it's only natural he's looking out for his son. Reportedly, 50 cents gunning for sole custody of his son, pointing fingers at Daphne Joy's supposed involvement in this lawsuit against Diddy. With all this drama unfolding and Daphne allegedly mixed up in the Diddy mess, 50's not messing around when it comes to his kid. Initial confusion surrounded Lil Rod's lawsuit when it was listed in the federal district court for a whopping $30 billion instead of the intended $30 million. You can imagine the chaos that caused, with Combs' attorney freaking out over that astronomical figure. Luckily, they sorted out the mistake later in the day, fixing the sum to $30 million bringing a sigh of relief to everyone involved. But here's the twist. Young Miami's also been dragged into this mess. Daphne Joy and uh, Young Miami accused of being sex workers, sex workers for Diddy. Now this is more of Lil Rod's uh, allegations that's coming out. In his lawsuit filing, he claimed that Daphne Joy and Young Miami were being paid a monthly allowance to be uh, Diddy's sex workers. Lil Rod's implicating Young Miami multiple times in the legal proceedings, claiming he saw Diddy and Young Miami getting into some shady stuff together. According to Lil Rod, on Thanksgiving 2022, Young Miami's cousin spotted him at Diddy's Miami pad. In a surprising turn, it seems Young Miami, in her attempt to distance herself from the situation and blame Diddy, ended up mentioning Cuba Gooding's name. Diddy is now at the center of this federal investigation, with multiple people being interviewed by federal officials in New York related to allegations of sex trafficking, assault, and more against the rapper, according to its sources tell NBC. And that says NBC is learning exclusively that the music producer accusing Diddy of sexual assault and harassment is also accusing actor Cuba Gooding Jr. This producer filed the original lawsuit last month, accusing Combs of forcing him to find sex workers and pressuring him into doing sexual things with them. Now, Gooding's story's a bit different from your usual celebrity drama. He's seen not just a decline in fame, but also some serious disruptions in his life beyond the glitz and glam of Hollywood. It's worth noting that Gooding had a hand in his own downfall. Cuba Gooding Jr.'s troubles kicked off back in June 2019, when USA Today dropped a bombshell report about an incident where he was accused of getting handsy with a woman at a bar in NYC while he was hammered. Gooding didn't shy away from the heat, he voluntarily went to the cops and got arrested. Now what's interesting is, Diddy's facing some similar heat. Rappers like 50 Cent aren't holding back, especially about these reported all-men parties Diddy supposedly threw. These shindigs apparently involved younger dudes, with Usher even spilling some tea about his time at Flavor Camp during his early days in NYC, chilling with Puff Daddy when he was a teenager. Usher hinted at the wild parties during an interview on The Howard Stern Show, but he didn't dish out all the juicy details. There have been rumors swirling online, some claiming Diddy might have given Usher an STD when he was just 15. 
Now, where these rumors started is a bit fuzzy, but some think it ties back to Usher's mention of Puff Daddy taking him to these crazy parties back in the day. You were 13, what were you saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. You all know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans, Joe C, Mary okay? J. Blige. They ain't know nothing about this shit. But let's clear something up. There's zero solid evidence backing the claim that Diddy gave Usher an STD or did anything sketchy with him. Usher's faced his fair share of legal battles over accusations of spreading herpes, but he's always shot them down and often deals with them behind closed doors. Diddy had his own run-ins with the law, from a nightclub shooting back in 99 to a scuffle with his son's football coach in 2015. And she joins us now uh, sharing her story. Natanya, thank you so much for being with us. I, I can't imagine uh, what you've been through since 1999 and then all the emotions that must be coming up uh, over the last couple of days. What, what was your reaction, Natanya, when you saw these massive raids uh, at P. Diddy's two homes? First and foremost, thank you for having me. Um, it was very emotional. In short, it was extremely emotional because it was basically it marked uh, 25 years, a quarter of a century since this occurred. And I've had to relive this over and over again intermittently in that time. So when I saw it, it was very cathartic because I finally felt like justice would be done. Justice would be mine. Some folks suggest Diddy might have pushed Usher into some shady stuff or had a thing for certain themes. There was even a lawsuit from a young fan who met Usher at one of his shows, claiming he knowingly gave her an STD. The court sided with her, proving Usher was in the wrong. Now, there's this video floating around featuring P. Diddy, Usher, and Kevin Hart, where Diddy kind of hints at something more between him and Usher. But it's all a bit suggestive and doesn't prove anything concrete. Usher had his fair share of allegations about spreading STDs, leading to a court order to stop him from doing so, or else he's looking at jail time. So here's the tea on Diddy. There's some shady stuff swirling around, especially involving women. The plot thickens with Kim Porter. Rumor has it, there might be more to her death. It's a dark turn in Kim's story, especially with her bestie Kimura Lee Simmons dropping hints about reopening the investigation. A shocked and devastated Diddy spotted at the home where his ex suddenly and mysteriously died. Her good friend Kimora Lee Simmons appearing inconsolable at the house, 47-year-old Porter's body found after a desperate call to 911. EMS 14, respond with engine 76 on scene of the cardiac arrest. Kimora's not holding back, suggesting she's got some inside scoop that needs to see the light of day. When Kim passed, Kimora was on the scene and the pics show her grief was real. Kim wasn't one to take things lying down, especially if Diddy got rough. So, when she was found, it left everyone wondering what really went down, especially since there were no signs of her being sick before. But now, there's talk that maybe her death wasn't just from pneumonia like they said. The kicker? The deputy coroner in charge of the case recently kicked the bucket, raising some serious eyebrows. Word is, this coroner found some sketchy substance during Kim's autopsy, making folks wonder what else is lurking in the shadows. So, here's what went down after Kim's death. The first coroner who checked her out said there needed to be more digging into how she died. But then, a new coroner stepped in, and it took ages for them to say it was pneumonia that got her. But here's where it gets shady. This new coroner never spilled about those toxins found in Kim's system people started whispering that maybe someone had a hand in hiring this coroner, especially since rumors were flying that Kim and Diddy weren't exactly seeing eye to eye before she passed. But wait, there's more drama. The law decided to join the party. After all the noise and criticism, they decided to pay Diddy's crib a visit. They hit up his places in LA and Miami like they were on a mission. Word is, they were looking into some serious stuff, led by the big guns from the US Attorney's Office in New York. The Department of Homeland Security got in on the action too, especially focusing on some heavy-duty crimes. These searches came after a bunch of lawsuits popped up, 
claiming Diddy was up to no good, including some pretty serious accusations. But Diddy's been singing the same tune, saying all those claims are straight up lies. When the search teams rolled up, they were ready for anything, even armored vehicles just in case things got hairy. They were on the hunt for anything that could hold clues, like papers, gadgets, or recordings. As for what exactly they're looking into, well, that's still a bit of a mystery. But here's the kicker. Right after these searches, more lawsuits hit Diddy's doorstep with even more serious allegations. Looks like this drama's far from over. Well, folks, that's the wild ride through the drama surrounding Diddy, Kim Porter, 50 Cent, and a whole bunch of other players in the music and entertainment scene. From lawsuits to rumors to federal investigations, it's been one roller coaster of a journey. But hey, we're just scratching the surface here. Who knows what other twists and turns await in this ongoing saga? Keep your eyes peeled for the next chapter, because when it comes to Hollywood drama, you never know what's coming next. Until then, stay tuned, stay curious, and let's see where this wild ride takes us. Peace out.